since my retirement, one of the great luxuries in life is reading the newspaper was having a poo. <laughs> That's why they threw me out of the library. What people don't understand is they're not just for Christmas Day, they're for life. Bloody in-laws. <laughs> Gin and tonic, ice and a slice, a very large portion. Yes. <laughs> Frank? 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 Steve? Nupta? Hey? <laughs> Nupta? What you been up to? <laughs> Nothing. Well, me? I'm Nigel Kennedy, fiddling around like a loony. Looking all over the place for you, and you were giving me the twenty-pound baby. A very wide berth. <laughs> what you doing? You grant, and I slipping a crafty one down the neck. <laughs> oh, that's divine. That is. <laughs> What's your mates then, eh? Hey? I feel about as wanted as used bog paper. <laughs> Come on. Short, bald cockney. It's good to talk. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a sausage, ain't I? What? Got a little meeting. <laughs> oh, right, right. But, but who? Why? What? Where? When? Oh, come on, use your noddle. Fully carnationed up, waiting to be clocked under a clock. <laughs> Stevie Wonder's birthday. Yeah, blind date, innit? <laughs> so, uh, adverting the personals? A large portion, yes. <laughs> Look at it. I know I do. <laughs> uh, uh, Geese, look at it. Be my, be my. All right. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Lonely, flabby cabby. <laughs> Seeks knockout trout <laughs> for leisure, love, and leg over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, P.S. We'll use caution whilst giving a large portion, yes. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Sample at the doctor's, mate. Take the piss. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My last chance at a glance of romance. Right, right, Frank. Right, right. Okay, two trap on the bunny front. A large portions of apology, yes. So, uh, where's the geezeress? She ain't here yet. When's she coming? Half past seven. <laughs> oh, punk, you're in a sex doll. You've been let down, mate. <laughs> I'm folding, Steve. I've been tucked up. I've been done up. I've been well origami mate. <laughs> One year ago, right, my missus, a lovely Susie, on her toes down the road, insurance geezer. The man from the Prue up the flue of my Sue. <laughs> and now this. Hey, hey, Frank, Frank, come on, mate, cheer up. Let's go down a pub. <laughs> we are down a bleeding pub. That's me out of ideas, then. <laughs> mate, I'm totally humilificated, I'll go now. Oh, excuse me. Will you use caution while giving a large portion? <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I do think that alcoholic lemonade encourages kids to start drinking earlier, yeah. It keeps them quiet, though, doesn't it? <laughs> I tell you, it's a bloody disgrace. The screws in this place are terrible. Oh, yeah. 980, Governor. Trying to wave Mr. McHitler. I'm a bank fan of yours. Never miss your show in the box. And sleep.
and wide awake. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'd like to deposit this money into my account. <laughs> So what do, you, what do you think of our sketch then, Paul? Well, I think it was probably one of the funniest sketches in the history of comedy. And wide awake. <laughs> Where am I? Uh, who am I? And sleep. <laughs> What's it all about? I mean, like, what's the point, you know? Wait, what does it all mean? I don't know, but that Shane Rich has got a lovely kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place, eh? God, this brings the old memories back, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, look! Do you remember when I smashed all the windows in next door's greenhouse with this? <laughs> Dad really turned your backside, didn't he, eh? Yeah. Couldn't sit down for a week. <laughs> Memories, eh? Happy days. Mm. Hey, look. It's the old wardrobe. We used to play hide and seek in. <laughs> bet you can't get in there anymore, eh? <laughs> I bet I can. Oh. <laughs> Who the hell's that? I don't know. But the, the hat, the, the book, it's. It's Mr. Rawlins, the rent man. I remember. You told him Mum was up here, then you pushed him in the wardrobe and locked the door. I thought you let him out. <laughs> I thought you had. No, he got called down for tea, remember? We must have forgotten all about him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Look at this. Is that one of Uncle Albert's boots? Yeah, remember, they're always too tight, you can never get them off. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember, he was babysitting for us, and he always got drunk and fell asleep on the sofa. Yeah, yeah. And we sawed his leg off. Yeah. <laughs> I can still remember him effing and blind and hopping around the room, mate. Eh? <laughs> I really liked old Uncle Albert. Mm. Whatever happened to him? Uh, we poisoned him with weed killer, I think. <laughs> What a laugh! <laughs> He's writhing around all over the place, vomiting everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I tell you, we were tearaways in those days. Yeah, yeah. You know, we ought to show Mum and Dad all this stuff, you know. You're right. Yeah. Look. It was only the mailman. Oh, Bert, I'm sorry. But ever since that burglary, I'm a nervous wreck. I know, honey, I know. <laughs> what is it? It's a tape. Who's it from? Doesn't say. Why, that's our bedroom. <laughs> Hi there, Betty. <laughs> I'm James Brown. I'm Ralph. So why don't you sit back and relax and watch as we burglarize your home. <laughs> Hollywood burglar. Hollywood burglar. Hollywood burglar. Hollywood burglar. Don't do things that we know. We're the Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. Hollywood burglar. Hollywood burglar. Don't 
do things that we know we should. Why not? We're the burglars from Hollywood. Hi there. <laughs> Betty's closet. Take one. On me, on me. Okay. <laughs> what kind of a woman is Betty? Let's go have a look, see, shall we? Let's go in the closet. Well, that would make a change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. Still, my beating heart. Oh, don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A full length mink cow. Oh, How much do you think this is worth? $35,000. $35,000? <laughs> Betty, it may just be a coat to you, but to me, this is a tummy tuck and one less chin. <laughs> Give me the phone, I'm calling the police. Let's see what we can find out about Bert. Yeah, let's. Chewie, anyone home? Of course not. Here we go. <laughs> now, Bert, I'm going to blow your safe open. <laughs> what have we here? Have a little look see. Oh, cash. How vulgar. <laughs> oh, negotiable bonds. How convenient. Hey, what is this? Hey, Bert, this is a rare collection of Victorian pornography. <laughs> I need a drink. What is that? I think it's called a pair of boobies. <laughs> and finally, hey, Bert, Betty. Hey, it's been fun, a lot of fun, but for Ralph and Gates, bro, it's time to go. Missing you already. <laughs> if you don't mind, I had a sample of your brandy. Whereas I'm pouring a sample. <laughs> That'll be the police. You call 911? Oh, thank God you're here. We. My wife just left me. It's for the best, I suppose. Christ, she was a messy cow. <laughs> Ask any of my women, they'll tell you. I'm a five times a night man. But hey, I've always had a weak bladder. <laughs> What's that? This is my new roadies bum bag. What do you think? <laughs> it's very nice. What do you want? I've come for Katie. What? I haven't had her an hour yet. You've had her exactly an hour, and that's what we agreed. All right, take her then. Just bloody look after her. Do you hear me? Look after her, you selfish cow. Dolly, we're going to have to think about getting Katie a new piano teacher. <laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, good evening, ladies and Vauxhall gentlemen. Uh, Norman and I would like to take this opportunity to publicly thank Mr. Paul McKenna. Wouldn't we, Norman? Yes, we'd push turbo! Yes, we would. <laughs> yes, uh, you see, Norman was suffering from something of an affliction. He couldn't stop himself from swearing. You f you f you f Toyota! <laughs> that was very, very close yes. indeed. Uh, but now, thanks to Paul, uh, Norman is no longer a compulsive swearer, is he, Paul? Yes, after a series of hypnotic sessions, I have replaced Norman's compulsion for swear words. With what, Paul? For Fiesta! <laughs> With mix of car. So, not only does it save Norman a lot of embarrassment in public, it, well, to be honest, has saved our careers. Because of Norman's swearing, uh, it made the programme too offensive to broadcast. But now, thanks to Paul, Norman is quite happy to shout... Ferrari! <laughs> all day long. Instead of shouting out, for example... Penis? Yes, just when it seemed that Norman had ruined everything with uncontrollable outbursts of nipples mm. and arse and bumhole and bollocks. <laughs> 
I have saved their careers by keeping them away from words like nipples and arse and bumhole and don't forget bollocks. <laughs> okay, so to Paul McKenna, master of the paranormal, we'd just like to say thank you very much, Metro. Maestro. <laughs> Same thing, they're both shit cars. <laughs> Thank you. We've got the uh, TV, you know, with the old remote control. It's got um, central heating, beautiful bathroom, fully fitted kitchen. Hey, do you like it? Yes, it's very nice. Yeah, a little yes. bit better than your dreary old prefab, eh? Oh, yes. <laughs> it really is a very, very lovely place. So you come by and you visit me anytime you like, all right? <laughs> Interview commenced 12 minutes past 9 p.m. Detective Inspector Jenkins and Detective Sergeant Jones present. Right, Danny, we're in place at the scene of the crime. We know you did it. So why don't you make it easy on yourself and come clean? We're telling you nothing. All right, son, have it your own way. Inspector is now leaving the room. Correction. He's walking around the room. <laughs> Look, Danny. He's now stood still. <laughs> Danny, I know you were there. The inspector is now breathing his warm breath down the suspect's neck. <laughs> Danny, Daniel, Dan. We can do a deal. You tell me what I want to know, I'll put in a good word for you, son. Inspector is now using his smarmy, nice cop voice. <laughs> Look what? I told you. I ain't telling you nothing. The inspector's now getting out a packet of cigarettes, even though he promised his missus he'd given up. <laughs> I've had a gap full of you, son, so coughing up now! The inspector's going really red in the face. Shut up, Jones! <laughs> his eyes all twitching. I said shut it! Right, boy. You know what comes next. The inspector's just fired. <laughs> he hasn't. For the record, he has not. He has, and for the record, it really bloody stinks. <laughs> what are you telling me? Keep out of it, scumbag! <laughs> the inspector's now assaulting the suspect. <laughs> He's wringing his neck and his eyes are bolting out of his head. <laughs> What? I, I think there's something wrong with the, the tape recorder. Play it back then, let's have a listen. Okay, I did it. I was guilty as hell. It was me that farted. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, Mr. Hedges, the estate agent sent us round to view the house. Oh, right, yes, come in. Uh, just a moment. Aren't you Bert Hedges, the weatherman? Bless you. <laughs> come on in. <laughs> this is the living room, a pleasant 15 by 18 foot room with a sunny aspect and not overlooked by neighbours. Uh, shall we have a look at the kitchen? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Each and every Saturday night, a flag and a veil I drink. A flag and a veil, and then another flag and a veil I sing. A flag and a veil, a flag and a veil, a sword I do adore. And then another flag and a veil, and then a flag and more. Oh, a flag and a veil for me in jail, because the breath I died in sail. No more a Roman shall I go. Day, eh? Yeah. I'm exhausted. 
Oh, I'm looking forward to a good kit, mate. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny. You know, two grown men can get into bed together you know, in front of millions of people and um, nobody thinks twice about it. No, that's television, isn't it? I mean, they're used to seeing two heterosexual men in bed together. Very heterosexual. Very, men. very heterosexual <laughs> men. Yeah. yeah, they don't think anything dirty or sexual is going on at all. Uh, yeah. But there's been, um, you know, lots of double acts, you know, that have been in bed together without any, you know, hanky panky, like Laurel and Hardy, Malcolm and Wise, Richard and Judy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, Gareth. There's only one thing going to be happening in this bed tonight. Yeah, yeah. sleep. Yeah, right, mate. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm cleaning up the crumbs from the toast that you ate in bed. <laughs> you messy git. Hmm, that's all right, then. Thought you were doing something dirty for a minute. Yeah. <sighs> Good night, then. All right. What's that sticking in my back? Is that your helmet? <laughs> Get rid of it, will you? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Get that bloody huge hose pipe out of the bed as well. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's all right, all right. Look at the size of it. <laughs> God, I have to fold it in half to get it in there. What on earth is this? Hey! <laughs> I thought you said you'd made the bed. Well, I'm sorry, huh? Get out of my bed! Come on, what are you doing in here? Get out! Don't tread on those, either. 